The Lakers find themselves in a very tight race in the Western Conference. And without LeBron for a good chunk of these last few games, what can we really expect from this team? Well, I know what they expect of themselves, and some fans agree. They expect a championship. But they haven't played championship basketball. Sure, there have been spurts when we see the potential, but at this point, a championship is extremely unlikely. Are they at least a playoff team? And by that, I mean getting a guaranteed playoff spot. So the sixth seed at worst. I mean, that's also something they said was a goal of theirs. But when LeBron went down with an injury, that goal pretty much went out the window. They were playing well for a while, even without LeBron. And it looked like the sixth seed was a possibility. But then they lost some crucial games. And now it looks to be out of reach. But I do believe at the very least, they will be a play-in team. The biggest reason for this is the Lakers have the easiest schedule to finish out the season. They're mostly facing below 500 teams, even though they themselves are below 500. But they just need to win the games they're supposed to, and they should, at the very least, be in the play-in tournament. There are only 10 spots for the play-in slash playoffs, and there are 13 teams that currently have a chance to take those spots. So the Lakers just have to be better than three teams to get into the play-in. The Blazers are pretty behind, and they have a really difficult strength of schedule. So they're likely to stay out of the play-in. Both the Jazz and the Thunder, as organizations, don't really have incentive to win. I'm pretty sure they're pissed that their teams are winning this much. They'd rather have a high draft pick. So I do think eventually, these two teams fall out of the play-in. The Jazz have a difficult remaining schedule, and if it wasn't for their insane start, they probably would be in the running for one Banyama. SGA has been keeping the Thunder's hopes alive. But again, as an organization, they're not trying to win, and they have been resting him on back-to-backs, and it wouldn't surprise me if they shut him down early. Now the Pelicans have a fairly easy schedule as well, but they've been pretty bad lately without Zion. They did get Brandon Ingram back recently, but I don't think that's going to be enough. So it seems like both the Thunder and Pelicans fall out. But the Lakers just need one of them to fall out for them to get in the play-in. Minnesota may or may not fall out of the play-in, depending on the health of their stars. Anthony Edwards is day-to-day, -day, but I don't think his injury is that serious. And Carl Anthony Towns is on his way back. So I'm leaning towards them staying in the play-in. The other two teams in the play-in mix are the Mavs and the Warriors. I don't think those two teams are falling out. The Warriors are the defending champs, and the Mavs have the star power to at least make the play-in. So it's pretty likely that the Lakers will be at least a 10th seed. But they should be at least aiming for the 8th seed. That way you avoid a one and done situation. If you're the 9th or 10th seed, you have to win twice to get into the playoffs. If you have a bad game, or your opponent has an insane shooting night like we've seen a lot of teams have against the Lakers, then you're out. No more playoffs for you. But if you're the 7th or 8th seed, you just gotta win once to advance. So if you do happen to have a bad night, you get another chance to win a playoff spot. So the 8th seed is a very attainable goal. The Lakers just have to make sure they win the games against all these teams that are close to them in the standings. In their remaining games, they play the Timberwolves, Thunder, and Jazz twice. They also play the Clippers and Suns, who technically could be in the play-in, but it's unlikely. So if the Lakers handle their business, they'll force losses on these other teams. Then they could be able to reach at least the 8th seed. Now of course, it would be better to just get a playoff spot outright and get to that 6th seed. But for that to happen, you need other teams to lose games in addition to the ones against the Lakers. So it's really out of the Lakers' hands, and they probably will need to have LeBron play in some of these more difficult games. And his return is still uncertain. So the sixth seed isn't very likely. But really, the point of all this is just to get the team to the playoffs. And from there, you just hope LeBron and AD can do superstar things and the rest of the team gels and peaks at the right time. I'm sure the goal of this team is still to win a championship. 
and really that's all his fans really care about as well. But championship is very unlikely. Everything needs to absolutely break right for the Lakers. Of course, you need health, but you also need LeBron to be LeBron when he returns. You need to have the rest of the team to have that chemistry with LeBron. And you probably need a favorable matchup, at least in the early rounds. You need everything to click. So it's very unlikely that they win a championship. But even at this moment, the Lakers are in a much better spot than they were to start the season. And that is something to be appreciated. At the very least, this team has been more enjoyable to watch. And this is sports. Improbable things happen all the time. Especially when you've got two of the best players in the game. So until we're completely out, I'm gonna still believe in this team. <laughs>